Back in the early 80s, especially in the UK, youngsters up and down the country were used to waiting. And waiting. And waiting for games to load into their home computers. And I was one of them. Watching the strange lines dance about on the screen was hypnotic. And watching the loading screen build up line by line. And then, in the case of my old Spectrum at least, fill up with colour at the last minute did nothing but increase my excitement for my new game. In the US, disk drives were more readily available for the home computer market at the time, but cassette was the way to go for most of us on this side of the pond. Nowadays, of course, we'll readily complain that the latest Call of Fort Warfare has another 50 petabyte download again today. So I guess the problem hasn't really changed, only the scale has gotten a little bigger. But for the retro gamer of today, it's a different story. We no longer have to wait when the average pixelated full stop on a web page takes more storage than a complete game on my old Spectrum. And micro SD cards and SSDs are cheaper and cheaper by the day. Some quick maths tells us that a 64 gig SD card has 64 times 1024 megabytes times 1024 kilobytes is over 67 million K of storage. So I can store almost 1.4 million Spectrum 48K games on something the size of my smallest fingernail. And with my Spectrum Next having an MMC multimedia card interface built in, and with numerous other MMC devices available for earlier Spectrums, like this Div MMC Future, all offering instant loading of your favourite games, where does a device such as this ZX Tape UE fit into our lives? And why would you want one? Let's find out. Christmas morning 1984 and I've got my lovely new ZX Spectrum Plus and with it came this sparkling user guide on cassette. And boy was I excited. I mean just look at it. It's a thing of beauty. I couldn't wait to play on it. I also got Bug Bite Software's Paul game, also on cassette of course, and I couldn't wait to play that either. Oh, and Titan Ground Force, and this wonderful US Gold Coast. In fact, I got many cassettes over the years, and I couldn't wait to play any of them. The point was, I had to wait, because they were on cassette. These days, of course, I just pop in a Div MMC unit, download the games I want to play, and stick them on an SD card. As we said earlier, I can fit the entire back catalogue of Spectrum titles many times over onto this tiny card, and of course, why wouldn't I, as the technology exists and I'd be silly not to use it. I use it on all my retro machines. A few weeks ago, we built this tape card for the C64, which is a similar device for instant loading. If, like me, you're lucky enough to own a Spectrum Next, and if you don't, I'd seriously recommend getting one as they're rather awesome, you'll note that it has a Div MMC built in, which is right and proper as it's brand new tech. But what if, like me, you like the idea of seeing all those old loading screens, animations, countdown timers, and even games you could play while your main game was loading, but you want the convenience of an SD card and don't want to damage your old cassettes? Well, that's where this device comes in. This is the ZX Tape UE from YouMakeRobots.com and it's a digital tape player and it comes with all you need to get your cassette nostalgia fix. So what exactly is it and how does it work? Well let's start with what it isn't. It's not a cassette recorder. It will only play digital tape images which are stored on SD card and inserted here. On the front are buttons to control the device and a small OLED screen so you can see what you're doing. There are buttons to navigate through the files and folders on the card, a play button which is also pause, a stop button and a mode button for changing settings such as the board rate which you shouldn't need to touch. On the back is a power socket, a 3.5mm line out and a USB input which can be used as an alternate power socket. The bottom is held in by four screws although there is a warranty seal so open at your own risk. This particular unit is designed to fit a ZX Spectrum Plus, although there are versions to fit most Spectrum devices and versions for other machines too. I want to see how well this fits to our Spectrum Plus, 
even though it will work as a standalone unit. Fitting is a simple matter of removing the three screws from the rainbow badge side of our Speccy and then fitting the device and securing with some slightly longer screws to account for the thickness of the plastic. And I think aesthetically it's a really good fit. This particular unit has a 3D printed case so it's not as perfectly finished as the injection molded Div MMC Future for example but as 3D printed cases go it's pretty good. This device is supplied with a splitter power cable allowing you to power both your Spectrum and the ZX Tape UE from your Spectrum power supply and as a bonus you get an inline switch for your Speccy 2. Nice touch. A cable is supplied to connect the ZX Tape UE line out to the Spectrum ear socket. The only thing left to do is to format an SD card to FAT32 format and then put some Spectrum software in TAP or TZX format onto the card and pop it in and then we're good to give it a test. Pressing the switch powers on both the Spectrum and the ZX Tape UE and after a brief moment we're presented with a simple screen showing the currently selected file, the board rate and a percentage indicator. Presuming we've hit load quote quote on the spectrum and pressed enter, we use the navigation buttons to select the tape we want to play and press the play key. All being well, we'll hear our spectrum start to make noises and the game should load. And that's about it. At nearly £50 it's in the same ballpark as a Div MMC and it's a lot simpler device, however it does look good on the machine. And you know what? It does give me that full on nostalgia feeling. Thanks to Ricky from YouMakeRobots.com for sending this in and if you're interested there's a link in the description below. I'd love to know how you feel about cassette loading these days so please leave your comments below. If you like the channel please like and subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications of new content. Until next time in the shack, goodbye.